Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to be reviewing all the books that TikTok basically told me to buy. And I'm going to yeah, review them and tell you my thoughts on them. And if it was worth buying them or not. Obviously it's going to depend on your personal taste, but this is just for me. So uh, let me go grab them. This is my bookshelf by the way. She's beautiful. I love her so much. You can see up here that's Tyler's Lego. We've got some plants. This is like my Harry Potter shelf. I love it. And they're like kind of like co color coordinated. Okay, I'm going to do them like stack by stack. This is the first color we're going to go with. I'm not going to do it in order, but if you want to see the order of books that I read, I did a silent book review on my TikTok, two of them. So those are in like the order I read them. So go to my TikTok if you want to see the order of them that I read them, but this is out of order. All right, the first one on the top of my little pink stack here is the Summer I Turned Pretty. Now, I only read this book because one of my friends said to watch the show and that it was a book and I'm like, well, I want to read the book first. So I actually really enjoyed it and then I watched the show and it's pretty similar. There's a few things that are a bit different, but I really enjoyed it. It's not a very big book. So if you're like starting off with reading and you don't want to read something too big, this is a good book. It literally has 276 pages, but the chapters are really, really short. So I'm pretty sure it has a few chapters. It has 46 chapters, but the chapters are really, really short. So like that kind of makes sense. I would probably, I'm gonna rate them out of five because my, my book app that I have rates them out of five. Let me grab it so I can like tell you. So I rated this one a five out of five stars when I read it. So it's good. I do recommend this one. If you like a little bit of a love and romance, young love, it's very good. I like this one. Okay, the next one I have is a Thousand Boy Kisses. I got this for Christmas from my friend Claudia. So thank you so much, girl, if you're watching this. Love this book. The only thing that I didn't like is that the chapters were literally so long. Like, I'm not even joking, guys. Like, this is one chapter. Like, that is a big chunk of pages. Other than that, I cried at the end of this book. It's another one of those, like, young love and romance books. Really, really cute. Really liked this one. And it's not really that big either. Like it has 353 pages and 16 chapters. And then it has a bonus chapter as well. Well, this one did at least. But yeah, really liked this one. I rated this one a four out of five stars. I probably did that because the chapters were so long, but I read this one ages ago. So, all right. So the next one is Once Upon a Broken Heart. This is probably one of the big ones that I've read so far. It has 408 pages and 54 chapters. I literally rated this a one out of five stars. Like I did not enjoy this book at all. I was really upset because I saw this all over TikTok and people were saying it was really, really good. And I'm like, well, I'm gonna buy it. And I thought I would like it because it is like love and romance, but like it's got that more of like fantasy side to it, I guess you can say, which I'm not saying other people won't enjoy it. Like I'm sure a lot of people enjoyed it. But for me personally, I did not really enjoy the storyline. There was just like a lot of extra information in it that didn't need to be said. That's why I didn't like it, but I'm sure other people would like it. And I also didn't like that how it was like written like in a different and like third person like I don't know I don't know I just did not like this one that much I finished it I read the whole thing but I didn't like it that much so I did rate it a one out of five stars but honestly if you like love and romance and a little bit of mix of like fantasy in there you probably would like it so for the next one it ends with us now I know Colleen Hoover is very controversial but I did like this book I really did like this book I think this was the second Colleen Hoover book I read and I liked it so I don't know why people were saying they don't my lips are really chapped I hope you guys can't tell. This is honestly like a medium sized book. I don't know. I liked it. So I didn't like feel like it was taking ages for me to read. This book has 373 pages and 35 chapters. So honestly, not too bad. Um, I did rate it a five out of five stars. I did. I really liked it. I really did like it. I like the storyline. I literally got so involved with it. Like I'd get so frustrated, but I really do recommend it, especially if you're only starting off reading books. The next one is Wildfire. Now, damn. Let me say something real quick. This straight up five out of five stars. I literally love this book so much. That's all I have to say. All I have to say, if you like the spiciness, this this is not the spiciest one I have read, but like it comes in second place. Like, damn, it's really good. So it has 37 chapters and 373 pages. So not bad, not bad, but I really like the storyline. I really just like, I like the whole thing. Like I literally still think about this book to this day. Like I wish I could go back and reread it. Like, damn. Okay, moving on to the next pile. Alrighty, so this is like my red slash black pile. I literally had them all organized, so I love that for me. But let's start with the first one. Let's just keep going. Someone is watching you. I actually didn't see this on TikTok, so this shouldn't really be classed in this video, but I'm gonna add it anyway. I was literally at the Gold Coast and I was going through QBD. Mm, no, it wasn't that. I don't know. It was some cute little bookstore that had like a coffee shop in it. If you know what I'm talking about at Pack Fair, you know. Leave it down below if you know which one I'm talking about. But that's where I got this from. It's only small, but I read another book, which is next, um, that I'll tell you about that really was like, I want to 
read more scary books. This isn't too scary, but like it's a good like starter book. It's got 292 pages and 41 chapters. So the chapters are a bit short. Really, really liked this one. It's in my scary folder on my app and I rated it a four out of five stars. So I really like this one. I would recommend reading this if you're getting into books again, like as I said, and you want to maybe adventure out from love and romance. Like this is a good book to start off with. And talking about that, let's move on to this one. Verity obsessed and I also just found out they're making a movie apparently so that's really slay I literally was sitting there in the lounge gasping like this book I love like this is the book that made me get this one because I was like I want more scary books please thank you can't wait for this to be a movie like I literally love this I seriously like I nearly didn't get it because I was like oh like I don't think I'm gonna enjoy a book like that, but I was wrong. So it has 313 pages and 25 chapters. It's not too big. It's a decent, like normal size, I guess. I literally love this so much. It's also in my scary folder. I rated it a five out of five. Literally would read this again if I could, like I have ADHD, so I'm not gonna do that because I would literally get bored. But like if I could read it again for the first time, like I literally would, like it was so good. All right, going back over to the love and romance, found this one. Once again, didn't see this on TikTok, but literally was at like Target or something. And I was just like, mm, let's go through the books and found this. I didn't know if I'd enjoy it. Like, I kind of put off reading it because I was like, uh, don't know. But got it because why not? And it was really good. Honestly, like, I'm not gonna lie. It was really good. I, I like the storyline. It's, like, obviously about, like, racing cars, like, F1 and stuff. I liked it. So if you like love and romance, go for it. Like, I really enjoyed it. I rated it a 4 out of 5 just because it's, like, I don't know. Nothing can top my favorite, which you'll see soon in the video. So it has 341 pages and 31 chapters. So really, really did like this one. Guys, tell me why why the rubbish man has to come now when I decide to film a video. He could have come all morning. Literally 12.08. You could have come all morning. Okay, the rubbish truck is gone. Hopefully you can't hear it still down the road. Anyway, moving on. Now this book is in my love and romance and fantasy collection. <laughs> my little app I have. Now it's this book, Court of Thorns and Roses. Now, let me say something. I rated this a three out of five stars. Once again, it was kind of like the Once Upon a Broken Heart. I just, I don't know. I just didn't like the storyline. Like I, there was bits when I was like into it and then I was like, okay, now I'm bored of it again. Too much extra information that I didn't care about. Like, sorry, hate to say it, but I don't know. I just didn't, like I did enjoy bits of it. Um, The chapters are really long. Well, not really long, but like they're pretty, you know, long. I'm glad that I didn't get the whole set all at once. Like I was going to, I'm glad I didn't because I would not have read them. So there is 419 pages in this one and 46 chapters quite a not a big book but like it's a little bit on the chunkier side I don't know there's nothing else to really say about it like I just it was at the at the end of it like I did read it all but at the end of it I was kind of just like skimming through the words the next one I have is a good girl's guide to murder now let me say I did enjoy the storyline like I did enjoy it there was bits when once again it was boring and I didn't like I did not enjoy the start of it like that's where I was bored at the start of it like you gotta like really read the whole thing to be into it at the end of the day like I did like the book and I was in intrigued in it and like did not expect the outcome of what happened. I once again didn't really like the point of view that it was written in, I guess you can say. Like I was getting confused. I have to say, I do like the little illustrations that they did. They did one every like new chapter. So it is 432 pages long. Like I like how they did like these little pages. Like they're pretty cool. And 49 chapters. So it is a little bit of a chunkier book. So I enjoyed it, I guess. I didn't like, it was not one of my favorites, but I rated it a three. So moving on to the next color. Okay, this is my blue section. I haven't finished reading all my books in my blue section yet. Hopefully another one of these videos will be coming soon if you guys like them. We've got Twisted Love. Now this, when I was talking about Wildfire, this is the first, like this is the top of the list. Like this is spicy. Like this is something else. Like I was sitting there like, there you go. Really recommend reading this book if you like love and romance, but the spiciness is there, you know. Really, really recommend this. I literally bought, I don't know if you can see, but I mean, you probably can't, but I bought the second one to go with this. Obviously, I haven't read it yet, but I rated this one a five out of five. It's not too big of a book either. Like, I really enjoyed it. Like, I really got like got through it, and then at the end of it, I was like, oh, am I done? Like, it was one of those books, you know. 344 pages, so not bad, and 43 chapters, so not bad. I really did enjoy this book, yeah. Five out of five, period. Next one, this book, I actually just finished reading it. The Love Hypothesis was not what I expected it to be, but really, I actually liked this book. Like I really got into it. Like this was written by a very smart person. Woman, I think she's a woman, yeah. Very smart woman she is because she literally was talking about science stuff and I'm like, <laughs> no, I don't get it. I don't get it, sorry. But I really do like the storyline. It's like, how do they describe it? Grumpy meets sunshine, literally is like that. And I really like those kind of books. Like I feel like those are really cool. I would 
recommend reading this. Like I really liked it. I rated it a four out of five. Don't know why. I probably could have rated it a five out of five. Don't ask me why. It was probably late at night when I finished reading it. It has 393 pages. I'm pretty sure it has 23 or 22 chapters. 22 chapters. There's not, nothing else to really say about it. I really did enjoy this book. Tell me why the rubbish truck is back again. Be for real. Be for real. Oh, it's the recycling man. Never mind. Okay, it should be good now. He's leaving. Speaks for itself, really. Not as good as the first one. I did, however, read this in one day. Do with that what you will, but um, I did read it in one day. It's not as good as the first one, but there's some necessary information in here, so I would recommend reading it. In all honesty, I would recommend reading it. Like, you can't read the first one and not read the second one, you know? Anyways, it's got 323 pages, so honestly, not bad. And has 37 chapters, so it's one of these books as well that switch between two characters each chapter, but I don't know. I did really like it. I feel like if you read It Ends With Us, you have to read It Starts With Us. You have to. And also, there's a movie being made about it, so I rated this a four out of five because not as good as the first one, but you gotta read it. You gotta read it. Next one I read was Maybe Someday. This is, I'm really like in the Colleen Hoover era. I'm sorry. Don't come for me, okay? These are just what I literally saw on TikTok. Blame TikTok. I liked it. There was nothing that I didn't like about it. It was another one of those books that I read it and I, I finished it and I was like, oh. It has 367 pages and it has 25 chapters, I think. I could not really be bothered to find it probably, but it's a little bit on the bigger side, but it's fine. I just also bought the second book and I also have the third book to it. Maybe not is like this small. I did make this mistake of buying this one and then the other two as well. So I kind of have to read them, but I'm glad I liked this book because if I didn't, then love that for me. But anyways, I rated it a five out of five period this one speaks for itself i literally this is my favorite book this is the first book i'm not gonna say first book i ever read because when i went through my twilight era back in like high school i read all the twilight books but when i actually started getting into reading like this time around this is the first proper one i read and i literally this is my baby this is literally my baby like us if i can recommend them a book it's this it's this i literally love this book i'm literally gonna get judged hardcore for this but i'm sorry i literally love this book so much it's a good starter book. Like, it's not that big. Oh my god, I literally want to read it again, but you know, I just can't. 322 pages, so standard, and 39 chapters, so really good. There's literally, I can't say anything else about it. Like, it's like got the perfect amount of like sweetness and love and then spiciness. Especially this being my first book, reading it and it being spicy, I was reading it like, wow, this is literally like crazy that this is in a book. But anyway, I rated it a five out of five, obviously. Okay, and that is all the books I have read since December, 2023, and it is now May, 2024. So I'll literally tell you my statistics on my app because this is a really good app to have, guys. Uh, it's called Book Mori. I don't know, I really like it. But um, in January, I read seven books. February, I read two books. March, I read three books. April and May, I've read one book. Anyways, but I'll give you a little tour of my book bookshelf before I end the video. This is my bookshelf guys. Quick little overview. It's a bit messy because you know we live with boys but I have not read those books yet. I'm currently reading the first book of Harry Potter. It's Post Malone. Post Malone. There's a few books in here that I haven't read yet and these are obvious books but yeah. So I hope you guys really, really enjoyed this video. I know it's not something I would usually post and I know a lot of you guys want to see some more try on hauls, which don't worry, they're coming. Okay, they're coming. You just gotta wait. You gotta wait until I have the money to buy them first and then I can film it. And please, please, please don't forget to subscribe. I'm trying to get to 5K. So that would really be so slay if you could subscribe so I could reach my goal and follow my TikTok because there's a lot of other content over there that I don't post on here. And I post more regularly on there because it's easier because I don't have to edit anything. So go follow me on TikTok. TikTok. All my links are in the description. That's all I have to say. If you want any more book reviews, I will do them once I read more books. But um, leave your suggestions for books to read down below so I can do it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Bye.